Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at cars that are actually good at drifting with these new drift tires. There's so many different cars you can pick and here is my selection for you guys and they're actually really good drift cars. A lot of them are quite surprising but I'm working on another video that I'll probably upload tomorrow or something about the most surprising drift cars in this game because there are a lot and I have discovered a lot while testing it. <laughs> now the Komoda. A lot of people love this car and now it's even better with low grips on. I compare this a lot to the Banshee because it does drift a lot like the Banshee. It has the same type of grip level and you can also double clutch it a lot, which is the same way you drift the Banshee. You double clutch that a lot and it has the same kind of limits as well. So if you get to a certain angle, it will spin out just like the Banshee and it's got the same kind of high speed as the Banshee. It's just a different car, different sound. And yeah, comparing it to the Banshee 900R is not a bad thing. It's most people's favorite drift vehicle. Look how long this thing can drift for. If you don't know how to double clutch, then I'd suggest you learn how because yeah, it makes the drifting experience so much better. You can do high speed drifts as well as low speed drifts. So you're making sure you can drift everywhere. And this is another car as well that you can also handle quite well with, with the low grip still on. It doesn't make the car useless. The Growler. Probably a car you didn't think was going to be on this list. And this car was originally, when it came out, already quite oversteery. It just was a bit sharp, so it wasn't that good for drifting. But now, with the low grip tyres, it gets rid of... What was that pedestrian? It gets rid of any sharpness. But yeah, it's now a smooth, high-powered drift car. And it is a bit sensitive, but I think I just caught it at its worst case. I probably won't mess up now if I carry on. So yeah, this is me live commentary all these clips and it just shows how easy these vehicles are if I can just live commentary them and drift them at the same time. And this is, I just got in this as well. I put low grips on it yesterday and I think that, you know, it's the perfect car to drift around if you're, if you want to get places fast and you also want to drift to those places. So this is the best type of car if you want to get things done in free mode and you want to have fun drifting there too. Now the Sanctus. What hell up a motorcycle? Yeah, well, this is the only motorcycle I know I said cars in the title. Now this is definitely worth it. Now just accelerating from standstill, you can see how much grip this has when you put low grips on. It has hardly any. And I was not meant to turn there. I was meant to go in a straight line. But as you can see, this struggles doing that. So drifting this, I think you need a lot of skill and you need a lot of experience with this bike. And it'll be cool to see a montage of someone actually drifting this bike because it is very difficult and it's weird to look at. It's weird to see someone drifting this. Let's try and... Oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I get the gist of it. You have to kind of turn counter steer before you even slip out. So now the one bad thing about this vehicle is it's a Halloween vehicle. So you can only get it at Halloween. But if you've purchased it before... You can purchase it from uh, Southern San Andreas. Right, this is the corner. This is the corner. Kind of. I'm going to leave it at that. It's very different to cars. It's definitely not. Oh, no. Yeah, definitely a, a unique vehicle and um, something to have a lot of fun with. Patriot Stretch. A weird one. I know, a weird one. But surprisingly, it's a very, very good drift vehicle. Now, this is a lot easier than it seems. It's just that the road is, uh, yeah, the road's not big enough. The thing is about this vehicle, you can, you can hold a drift for a very, very long time, as I'm doing right now. And with low grips, look, it's still controllable. It's not like it's completely useless anymore. It's one of those vehicles that you can still actually control. And look how long you can drift. Holding the handbrake on this is also like a, an assist. I, it's like a cheat in drifting and I can easily drift this vehicle, you know, so many times in a row. You just need to practice for like five minutes, which I probably should have done before this commentary. And then you can perfectly drift everywhere. Look at that. Easy. Oh. Right, the Glendale Custom. Now, this is your guy's choice and... I got into it and I couldn't believe how simple it was, like how easy it was to drift, how easy it is to correct. It's got all the good factors of drifting and now you can also double clutch it as well so you can do longer drifts. It does it does lack a tiny bit in power if, I think, if it had like a, a bit more power then it would have been 
the best car in GTA probably period but yeah this car is the most easiest right now I've seen to drift so if you want a car that's simply easy to just drift then the Glendale Custom is your choice it's it, it's just the, the factor is that like it's not the best looking car that you can actually drift like it just doesn't look like a drift car it's a old classic Mercedes so um, yeah but yeah this is the easiest car on this list to drift so if you want something satisfying yeah go for the Glendale the Corquette D10 another sports car again which you probably didn't think was going to be on the list but this wheel spins a lot this has a long first gear as well so you, if your wheels if you're drifting at lower speeds it's very good and it's quite good at doing high speed drifts as well but it's one that you need to incorporate the handbrake a lot into otherwise you're probably gonna spin out yeah these are all good drift cars and these are ones that I've had experience I've had experience with a lot of vehicles and uh, these are the ones that are pointing out to me a lot just to take a pause out of this video if you've not subscribed already I'd really appreciate it. in this DLC I'm actually it's an objective to see how many subscribers I can get because I normally never ever ask so I just want to see what what this DLC brings how many people subscribe and yeah it's just a little goal that I have and yeah only only do it if you enjoy my content in any way and yeah the core shouldn't be ruled out when it comes to drifting you know it I know it's a supercar sports car but it's a really good drift car. It must be because of the weight distribution. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just one of the nicer cars. And yeah, it's just a lot easier to drift than you actually think. Oh yeah, and I just forgot to mention how like controllable this car is with low grip still on. So look, I've still got it on. And at some points I forget that it's even on. Like it just about steps out. And uh, it's a bit like some just oversteery cars. It, it still handles quite well. The Yuga van. The OG drift van. This used to be so good at drifting. We used to always use this car before other cars started coming out. But and then now, obviously, it's been improved because it's got low grip tires and it is smooth. That's really the word for this car. It's just smooth or van. Sorry, it's like one of the smoothest vehicles in the game to drift. It just look at it. You don't need no twitching. It doesn't switch. It just stays. It doesn't even look like I'm turning with the way it's so f with the way it turns. It just stays in one direction. With this vehicle, you do need to tap handbrake quite often to keep the drift going. So just like tapping and comment in the comment section if you want to see a video on how to drift with these new low grip cars. Um, a lot of people found my last tutorial quite easy to follow. So now with these low grip cars, I can show you how to drift specific vehicles like this van and uh, you know all-wheel drive cars rear-wheel drive cars talky cars not so talky cars I could just show you how it's done so yeah if you want to see that video please comment in the comment section and yeah next vehicle the deity what a fine car this is it slides so much and it's one of those cars that you need to let the mass do the work it's such a heavy car that it's yeah you just need to be careful that you don't overdo it because you will be sliding for days. If I just hold handbrake here, you can see how long it slides for. It just has so much momentum, so much mass that it doesn't stop sliding. So you have to take corners with ease. And when you take corners with ease, it's a very easy car to drift. And um, it's hard to spin out unless you put too much power to it. Because of the grip level, it's quite a slow drift car. I mean, you can drift this thing at high speeds, but most of the fun will be coming at low speeds because it's so, so slippy. So if I do try to drift at high speed, this is what will happen. It will just drag on for so long. The mass will just push it for so long. So you're better off doing lower speeds where you can actually predict where it's gonna turn. So right here, I can't predict where it's going to go. It seems like I couldn't even keep a drift going. So this left here, if I do it at more of a high speed, you'll understand what I mean. It's hard to predict. I mean, I make it look easier, but uh, it's, it is difficult. You have to predict every corner instead of actually just drifting the corner. Okay, I'm not doing a good job at making it seem hard, <laughs> but it is quite difficult to predict. Right. Right, okay, I sh 
it's not that difficult to predict. It's definitely something that you can't, you know, get in from another car and then do long drifts and get into this because this will slide a lot longer than those cars. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Hopefully you did enjoy that video. And yeah, if you did, please subscribe. Like I did say in the video, I am trying to make it a challenge to, for myself to get as many subscribers in this DLC. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys in the next one.